Hello everyone, this is Luca. Welcome to the Buster Monkey new video here. And as promised, I'm gonna show you how I do my thumbnails. So what's thumbnail? It's uh, the very first uh, approach that I have on, on a painting. The very first idea uh, done very quickly just to, uh, let's say, lock, lock it there and say, okay, this is the idea. This is the composition. This is where I, where I want to go. It's not necessarily uh, through 100%, it's just like a guide for you. And uh, at this stage everything is allowed, but let's jump in and see what I've done. Today I'm gonna have fun with three different locations, uh, different approach, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do at first, but I mean best advice is just start painting if you don't know what to do and your brain will eventually tell you where to go and you start detailing and just go somewhere. As you will see these are not super detailed anyway, this is just uh, a guide for you uh, towards the final painting, so don't look at this stage as uh, okay that's even when will be color will be exactly like that no that's not true i mean everything can still change at this stage and uh, when you're gonna put the color maybe you realize that the light is not exactly matching what you had in mind and you're gonna play with the temperature but let's say 99 percent if it's good in black and white and you're you're a good painter it is gonna be it's gonna look all right at least I knew at least that the first painting uh, needed to be like a forest, something like that, so I focused on the negative space of it and the lighting and the composition first, as you can see it's very blocky and uh, sharp and that's what I wanted to do, trying to stay away from tangents but at the same time having a great like uh, sense of depth. And as I keep going I start to find out that uh, maybe it start, it start to be too complex, I need to simplify some shapes and uh, at the same time to define some more others so that your eye uh, is going there where I want it to go and not somewhere else. And as you can see, I, uh, I'm not paying attention too much about the, the quality again of this painting. If you're going to, to look at it very closely, it's not gonna look good. But I don't care because um, this is just a guide and I might choose one of them. Actually, you might choose one of them and I can take it to the more polished final result. And uh, well, it's always good to add a character, even if it's a small one, uh, it's fun to give a sense of scale, uh, of depth and again, where you want to look uh, is where you want to place the characters or the action or whatever is going on and um, yeah some more some more information over there to tell you that it's there's some rocks and some more going on behind him uh, more foreground just to hide some parts that i didn't want to show and jump on the second one the second one were, was a bit more tricky because i started with three characters but i didn't really want to have characters at the end and um, because again i I didn't have a great story for the second one, I didn't, I didn't know what to do, so I started just with a wide, uh, a wider open space and uh, I think I ended up like putting uh, a vehicle coming towards us with a strong wind um, on the trees that you can actually tell. I like, I have lots of fun to um, define uh, and try to tell the, also the weather that is going on in my painting. And this is a cool thing that you can have fun with as well. So like if it's windy, just try to show it as much as you can with everything going on, everything moving, uh, giving lots of action. But at the same time, the challenge is to uh, drive the eye again where you want it to be. And anyway, here I'm wasting so much time with these two guys, three guys, <laughs> sorry. And again, for this, these three pieces, I, I've spent just like 30 minutes, I think something like that uh, because I didn't need to go further than that I mean I had I have lots of information in these three paintings at the end and I know exactly where I wanted to go uh, for the final painting in terms of colors and, uh, and mood and stop look at painting these three guys just stop <laughs> go ahead uh, I think I will delete them in a minute and I will start oh always cool to add some more planets okay they're gone finally so this is the very small vehicle with the smoke behind him, sand going up. And here I was like, hey, why don't I make like a, a stronger sense of sand flying around? But I jumped on the third one and I, the third one I wanted to be a character. 
uh, again, I didn't really know <laughs> what this character was doing, uh, but I had in mind just the, um, the pose and the camera angle, and that's gonna tell me already that it, it could be like an action pose, it could be like him looking for something. Uh, I don't really know where he is, he might be in the first forest that we did. You decide, I don't know, but again, the goal for D3 is just to create uh, some strong composition that you can go and paint afterwards being fast being quick that's the key um, of course uh, the, the more detailed the better but that's not what you have to do that's not the plan and I'm going erasing I was trying to put some foliages in the in the foreground but I didn't like it as you can see it's very painterly and quickly done the face oh a sword why not a sword is always cool who knows if in the in the in the final painting I'm gonna put it but yeah, I started with some palm trees on the second one and again I was like, okay, no, it's gonna be windy, so let's move it. And uh, let's try to point them towards the car uh, so that you are, you're driven to go there. And let's stop the eye right after that with a bigger one and a taller one that's gonna tell me basically that after those there's nothing important to look at. Uh, I mean, at least I tried, so you tell me if I did, if I did that successfully. But here it is, this is the final result showing up in a second and uh, I hope you like it, I mean I hope it was useful for you. Um, I know I got some questions about how, I, how do I study my, my environments and uh, well this is a good way to do it. This is a very fast and efficient way and the dogs are barking. So the episode is done, sorry for the parrots and the dogs again but you know I love animals. And by the way, I hope you like it, I hope it's useful for you. Please like and subscribe if you aren't yet. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.